In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and use wear boards for your pottery studio. Hi, Marie here, back with another how-to video for you. Wear boards are an essential part of the pottery studio. They help you move your pottery from one area to another without having to handle them as much. Join me as I show you how easy it is to make a handy stack of wear boards and all of their uses for you to make your pottery crafting easier and your studio more organized. The tools we are going to use are some drywall, X-Acto knife, ruler, and a pencil. There are links down below for all of them. Let's make some handy wear boards. You can go to your local hardware store and get some drywall. You can also see if they have any scrap drywall. I got this scrap drywall from Lowe's. There are several thicknesses you can choose from. Three quarters of an inch or a half an inch. I found the half an inch to be better to work with. I make my wear boards 12 by 16 inches. I found it to be the most convenient size and they fit on my shelves really well. And they're not awkward or too heavy to work with. You'll need a ruler, yardstick works well, a pencil, an X-Acto knife, and if you like, some knee pads. Start out by measuring 12 inches. Then 12 inches on this side. And here's your line. Now start cutting. This is the fun part. So you can see and just push down and pull up. Now measure 16 inches because it's 32 inches across. Perfect. If you're new to the channel, feel free to introduce yourself in the comments section below. Any and all comments are welcome. Flip it over, push, and pull. It's that easy. Let's finish this off.
That was quick and easy. Some potters like to put duct tape around the edges to prevent any plaster bits from falling out. I get a little here and there, but not that much. If you choose to do it, it's very easy. And just go all the way around. Now that I've showed you how easy it is to make these, let's take a look at all the ways you can use them. Place your freshly made pottery on the wear board with a newspaper. Not quite ready to add handles, decorate, or trim your pottery yet? You can put your pottery in a damp box and use your wear board to easily get it out without touching your pottery. Because the drywall helps to dry your pottery, you can wrap plastic around your wear board and then place it in your damp box until you're ready to trim. When recycling clay, you can place the clay on the wear board to dry. I like to place plastic underneath to increase the life of my wear board. They're perfect to use when making kiln cookies. They help dry them out and keep them from warping. I have a video on how to make kiln cookies. I left a link for you in the description below. Putting freshly made handles on your wear board is also convenient. You can set them aside until they're leather hard and use your space to work on other things. I have my greenware on the wear boards to transfer them to the kiln area and store them until they're ready for the kiln. After you've bisque fired, you can use them to carry your bisque ware back into your studio. Once all your pottery is glazed, you can store them on your wear board and take them out to the kiln area for the final fire. They're also great for carrying your warm pottery back to your studio and storing them until you're ready to sell them, use them, or give them away. As you've noticed, I use wear boards for all stages of pottery making and then some. If you know any other ways that you can use them, please let me know in the comments section below. All of your suggestions, questions, and comments are welcome. Now that you have a handy helper in your pottery studio, you'll save time and not have to touch your beautiful pottery you've crafted as much. Today you found out how many different ways you can use wear boards. Please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos in the future, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified anytime new content comes out. I build my list of videos to create based on feedback from viewers like you. You watching helps me to make more videos like this one. Now head on over to this how to recycle clay video or this how to remove pottery from the wheel video. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.